Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on drawing a cumulative frequency curve. Now on the higher tier there's lots of different things you have to learn how to do with these kind of tables, so these grouped tables. You need to know how to estimate the mean from them, you need to know how to draw histograms with them and then also cumulative frequency curves. So we need a way of remembering what we do for each one. For cumulative frequency, cumulative sounds like the word accumulate, and that's actually where it comes from. So to accumulate things means to um, gather them up over a period of time and sort of add them up as you go along. So you might accumulate possessions throughout your life. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to accumulate my values in the table. So these frequencies here, which basically means I'm going to do a running total. Now, some questions have this as a part A to help you. This says, complete the cumulative frequency table for this information. So it's sort of giving me a hint that there's something I need to fill in here. It won't always have that as a part A, but it usually does. If it doesn't have it as a part A, you need to add on this column here to the table they give you and do this for yourself. So I'm going to do my running total. So they've done the first value for me, that's just 12. If you look here, the next one down is 21. So in my cumulative frequency, I have 12 and 21. So that is 33. Now in the next column down, I've got another 36. So to add that on, to accumulate it, that will be 69 in total so far. And then I've got another 23 to add on. So that's 92. And my last one is 8, so that's 100. Now again, sometimes, but not always, in the question it tells you how many of the frequency you have in total. In this question it says, a company tested 100 batteries. And if you look here, my final number is 100. So I probably have done this right. I could go back and double check, but if my last number is 100, I've probably not made a mistake. So that's the first step. The second part of the question then will be to actually draw the cumulative frequency graph or cumulative frequency curve. Now I've just put my table here to the side to remind me what that was. In the exam that will be obviously on your test paper. You need to use this table in order to draw your graph. So what I'm actually going to plot here is I'm going to plot my um, end points of each group with the cumulative frequency. So I'm just going to highlight here what I'm actually plotting. I'm going to plot the 55 and the 12. I'm going to plot the 60 with the 33, the 65 with the 69, the 70 with the 92 and the 75 with the 100. I could actually write these out as coordinates which might be helpful. So the first coordinate I would plot would be 55, 12, then 60, 33, then 65 and 69, 70 and 92 together, and finally 75 and 100. So I'm going to plot these on. Now I need to be as accurate as I can. Uh, they'll probably let you be out by one of these really little squares. But you really need to make sure you look at your axes. You understand what each little square is. So make sure you count up and check what each little square is. And plot it really, really accurately. So that's this done. If you look along this axis, there's ten little squares and it's going up in five, so each little square is a half. But that's quite easy to plot, because this one we're just plotting 55, 60, 65, 70 and 75. It's more this axis here that we're looking at. Each uh, little square must be two, because there's ten squares here and this is 20, so each little square is two. So this is what it looks like. Now the final step here is to join this up to make a smooth curve. Now, it should be almost like an S shape. So it starts off here, we curve upwards 
goes kind of straight in the middle and then it just curves and reaches up to the top. So I'll just do an example of that now for you. So this is probably about the best I can do on here on the screen. Um, I've gone slightly wonky here in the middle. You definitely need to be doing this with a pencil and if you do any sort of wobbly bits, maybe just rubbing them out and trying to get it really smooth. But if you look, it sort of dips in at the beginning a little bit. It goes sort of straight in the middle and then just reaches up to the top. So that's my cumulative frequency curve. Thank you for watching.